it's down there. And do a two minute beach clean. This is Terry, a menopausal 50-something. And this is Ali, yes, queen. a socially awkward 30-something. And we are the Dipping Duo. Two best friends who travel around the country looking for places to dip, swim, walk, dive, bodyboard, and do all the things that we love in and around the open water. Join us each episode where we find a new location, help guide you there, show you the best spots with useful information so you can enjoy the water as much as we do. Hit the like button and subscribe. Oh, hi, hi. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> How nice. How the first thing you've eaten today? Let this be a lesson to everybody. If you're planning on going on a nice walk and having a cold dip, make sure you eat something. Today we visited Broadsands Beach, which is situated in the southwest of England in North Devon. It is a small cove that can be accessed via the southwest coast path and is located between Watermouth Harbour and Coombe Martin. Down into the harbour. You can park anywhere, can't you? You can park along here. Yeah. Should we park here? Mm -hmm. Do you have to pay this time of year? No. I'm sure. Don't know. <laughs> Turns out you do have to pay for parking, however it's well worth a visit, as in peak season. The Storm in a Teacup is a lovely little cafe where you can get a great cup of tea and a really tasty pasty. We left the car near the entrance of the harbour. Do be aware that in peak season, parking might be limited. We then followed the southwest coast path east towards Coombe Martin and then made our way down the windy set of steps onto Broadsands Beach. Walking along the road. What's this? How exciting. <laughs> Just walk straight up, literally. There's the turning. <laughs> There's the ghost path. So nice and slow. We are on the back of a whole weekend of walking up on Exmoor, mostly uphill. What that does mean is that uh, this 50 year old body is a little bit achy. Well, and this 30 year old body isn't as achy. Right, it is. She's, she's, she is actually more tired than me all the time. Well, all the time. These heels tend to be conversation stoppers. So I'm just going to... Uh, we'll probably give you a nice view halfway up and be like, oh, look at the view. <laughs> that... That's quite a view, hey? ...is a glorious view. Beautiful. Rock Sands Beach. Here we come. Sorry. <laughs> Do you know how many steps there are? Nope. 200 apparently. Ooh. 200 steps we've got to go down. What must go down must come, come up. up. So it, <laughs> <Aye>. <laughs> but I think this walk from where we parked is less than half a mile. It's rated as well, isn't it? Uh, one of the top 10 secret beaches. Although uh, since doing that, it's no longer secret. Welcome to the cliff step.
Today, the air temperature was 5 degrees and the sea temperature 8 degrees. So we decided to bring along the fire pit and man was it a godsend. We are invincible. Look at the camera, I'll do it again. Taking some lovely shots. Oh, oh, what? I mean, it's worth just looking around the corner to see what it's like. Due to today's sea conditions, we needed to be really careful about where we entered the water. Due to the large swell and plunging and dumping waves, this can make entering and exiting the water very tricky. Okay, because of those huge rollers, we're putting safety first. And we're just gonna get in here so initially, we thought this was a good spot because there are no waves here. However, due to the wind direction and the outgoing tide, a rip current had formed here. Okay, change of plan. We're gonna dip here. There she goes. Okay. Oh. oh my gosh, that feels good. There we are, the universal signal for she's having a wee. Of the town. I mean, it's such a look. Well, I'd just like to say I'm swimming. <laughs> Very bad for breath. is we've now got the fire to uh, warm up next to. think we should ever 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 do a winter swim again without a fire. <laughs> it literally makes all the difference.
Okay, so normally when I've been down to Broadsands um, before, normally at the base of the beach, there's loads and loads and loads of rubbish that people have collected and they leave at the bottom. So I'm really pleased to see that that's all been collected. So we're just gonna do uh, a little sweep of the beach and do a two minute beach clean. Let's see how much we can get. Al started us off. <laughs> there's not that much uh, here, but actually when you start looking, there's always, always something. Doing a quick beach clean when you're a bit cold, it definitely helps you to warm up. I mean, I'm glad to say that there isn't much and we're having to really look to find some. That isn't always the case, especially down here. Loads of it. Oh, if you have a quick look and think, ah, oh, there's not much there. You know, look again. Look at that. How long have we been going? Literally two three or three minutes. minutes. Yeah. Has that got barnacles on it? See, now this is where you're torn. Yeah. Because you don't want to get rid of that, so I'm not. Watch for these men of war. <gasps> oh my god, you've just been in there as well. No. No. Oh, look, there's another one there. Oh, it's quite a few. Uh. Honestly, there's loads of them. They look like little condoms. <laughs> How many were we swimming in? <laughs> the end of a beautiful swim. We've now got the 200 steps to go back up again. <sighs> I'm going to let you know how many they are when we get to the top. I'll probably be a bit out of breath. Step 50. That's how far I've gone. Halfway. Apparently, another hundred to go. Hundred and fifty. I've just heard Ali shout, two hundred. So I'm assuming she's up the top. Well, this is two hundred. <sighs> Maybe it was two fifty. I think I might have got that wrong. Well, I've obviously got it wrong. Would you make it? So did I! One. One. Downhill all the way now, mate. Downhill. Happy, happy, happy. Oh, and we're still in the and sunshine. The sun's coming out. <laughs> I sun's want the coming world out. to know. Oh. oh, the sun's coming out. I want the world oh, to know. Sun's coming out. I, I want, want the world to know. know. Got to let it show. I'm coming. <laughs> you okay, Ali? Will we, we you put it back and then pull the gate forward or towards you? Mm. Yeah. Well done. What do you care? Why do you want to, you want to live in North Devon? This is why, guys. Well, back in the car. Mm -hmm. Nice and toasty. That was jolly lovely. Was jolly lovely. So, a couple of questions. Yeah. What have you learned today, Ali? Um, I have learned to um, take a fire pit more often. Oh my God, the fire pit was an absolute godsend. We're definitely going to do that more often. Mm -hmm. um, always worth a beach clean. Always worth the beach clean. First glance, didn't look like there was anything there, but we uh, definitely we, we definitely filled a big old carrier bag till about a third of the way. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we can uh, swim with Portuguese men of war and not know about it. I mean, that's quite shocking to see all those Portuguese men of war on that beach there, and we were swimming amongst them, and we didn't get stung. I'm not, we're not promoting swimming with Portuguese men or all, but not. we live to tell the tale. We do. <laughs> Happy day. Thanks for coming out with us and joining us at Broadsands Beach. If you wanted to get involved in a two minute beach clean, then check out Plastic Free North Devon. We'll pop a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share and hit that bell button. See you next time.